to Covering the Fields with your host, Joe Ellison. Hello, welcome to the Covering the Fields Sport Short. I'm your host, Joe Ellison, and today we're talking about tennis's Davis Cup, which comes to Reno this Friday, March 4th, and Saturday, March 5th. My guest today is Gator Gates. Gator, tell us a little about the history of the Davis Cup. Okay, sure, Joe. Um, the first Davis Cup was in 1900 at the Longwood Cricket Club in Boston. Now, USA played the British Isles. Now, the idea of the Davis Cup came from four members of the Harvard University tennis team. They wanted to set up a match with the Brits. Now, after the two sides did agree, Dwight Davis, one of the four players, designed a tournament format and ordered a trophy using his own money. Now, the tournament was originally called the International Lawn Tennis Challenge, but soon it became known as the Davis Cup, named after Dwight Davis. Now, in 1905, France, Austria, Belgium, and a combined team from Australia and New Zealand were included. In 1927, France won their first Davis Cup with the famous Four Musketeers. Now, France did went on a glorious run of the last six years with the winning the last six years. From the mid 30s to the 1970s, the three powerhouse teams was USA, Great Britain and Australia. And that was won by one of those teams every year in that era. Now in 1969, 50 nations competed in the tournament for the first time. In 1972, they changed the format and got rid of the bye, which put a nation directly into the finals. In 1974, South Africa became the fifth nation to lift the cup and was quickly followed by Sweden, Italy, and Czech Republic. In 1993, the tournament had 100 nations for the first time. And in 2012, the Davis Cup had their first 100th final. Today, the Davis Cup is the world's largest annual international team competition in sports with 148 nations this year, Joe. Uh, that was nice. You mentioned the Four Musketeers. Uh, the John Brotra was one of those, along with Henri Crochet, Rene Lacoste, and Jacques Brignon. Brotra, the Bounding Basque, uh, was a friend of my grandfather. Very good friends, in fact. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. So uh, the U.S. Uh, has won like 32 times now? Correct, Joe. Um, they're the most. They're, they've won 32 wins. Second is Australia with 28. And France and Great Britain both have 10 and are tied for third. Now, U.S. have played in 296 ties. Now, what ties are in tennis, all they are is just elimination games. Now, out of these 296, USA is 221 to 75. Yeah. Most total wins is done by uh, John McEnroe. He has 59 wins. Most single wins is done by John McEnroe with 41. Most double wins is Mike Byron with 28. The best doubles team is Bob and Mike Byron. And the most ties played is Mike Byron with 33. And last, Joe, most years played. Again, we got Bob and Mike Bryan with 15 years. Yes, the Bryan brothers, very loyal Americans. John McEnroe, one of the greatest players of all time, known maybe a bit more for his uh, tirades on the court, but a great American on the tennis court. And uh, the U.S. last won the title in 2007. He was not a part of that, but uh, John McEnroe, one of the greatest serving volleyers in the history of the game. Oh, yes, Joe, correct. Mm -hmm. So this Friday and Saturday is at the Reno Event Center, a qualifier, the United States versus Columbia. There will be two singles matches Friday and then a doubles match and two singles Saturday. Uh, the winner advances to the 16-nation Davis Cup Group Finals. Marty Fish is the captain, who might be more known around here for winning the Celebrity Golf Tournament, but uh, was as good as uh, number seven in the world at one time. And he has assembled a team of Taylor Fritz, Tommy Paul, Sebastian Corda, 
Jack Sock, and Rajiv Ram. Uh, Gator, uh, U.S. Uh, should be considered the heavy favorite, I would say, uh, although there is no betting line. And the U.S. is also 114 and 19 at home in Davis Cup matchups. Well, that's probably why we're not seeing the line, Joe, I would think. If you look at these numbers, Joe, uh, Taylor Fritz, he's uh, 16th, ranked 16th in singles. Tommy Paul, he's ranked 39th in singles. Now, Sebastian Corda, he's a rookie. But we got Jack Sock. Um, he's doubles. He's 144th. And Rajiv Rom from Denver, Colorado, he is ranked fourth in doubles, and his record is 1-0. and Now, on the Colombian side, if you're handicapping this, you got a guy that's ranked 265th, 447th, 475th, those are all in the singles, and in their doubles, um, there's no ranking on either one of them, Joe. Okay, well, we should go out to Rito and check out the action because, for one thing, it looks like we're going to win, and another, the chances of the Davis Cup competition coming back to Reno is next to nil. That's slim to none. I agree, Joe. Well, we're okay. very we're very lucky and fortunate to have it. Yes, and uh, we'll see uh, what kind of a turnout we get up there. Should be well, excellent. Well, thank you, Gator, for participating in the Covering the Field Davis Cup Sports Short. Yeah, not a problem, Joe. Thank you so much. You've been listening to Covering the Field. CM World Services and the Sage Production.